All right, today we're looking at lesson 89. This lesson's a little bit longer than other lessons. It's like two completely different um, concepts. We're looking at and and or, and then we're looking at products of chords and secants. So the and, or, conjunction, disjunction. Conjunctions, they're joined with and. Disjunction, they're joined with or. Yeah. That's about all that we're really going to do with the English part of it. But conjunction is with and, disjunction is or. So a conjunction, both conditions have to be met. It has to be this and this. Like both of them have to work. Disjunction. We'll go to that one in a minute. But for, for a conjunction, they're joined by and, and it means whatever this is, and the other thing, they both have to work. Okay, so let's look at an example. Have we had things like this before? Yes. So, it says this inequality and that inequality. What do our answers have to be? It has to work for both of them. Does that make sense? Okay, so how are we going to solve this left one? Do you agree? Okay, what about this other one? issues with the microphone it like is in the way today I don't know does that make sense yes. okay so what numbers are greater than negative one but also less than three greater than or equal to negative one negative one why not three less than why are we not dotting I mean why are we dotting and not shading Y'all yeah. see how that works? Any questions? Okay. Okay. Looking at another example. There are two different ways to do this one. It really doesn't matter to me which way you do it. I'm going to write down both of them. I'm not going to solve them yet. I just want to explain the two different ways to do it. So one of them is to treat it as two separate inequalities. That's one of them. And then the other is x minus 2 is plus or equal to 4. You can do it where you have two separate inequalities. Does that make sense? The other way is to leave it and think of it as having three sides to the equation. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like having three parts. It's an inequality, but it's like having three parts. Okay? So, how would you solve this one? Either one of those, right? Okay, what about this one? Okay, so that's how you can do it. You can also just do it this way. Add two to all three sides of your inequality. Do you see how that works? I don't care which way you do it. It really doesn't... It really doesn't matter to me which way you do it. If you need to break it into two separate inequalities, you can do that. If you like having it as one big inequality, don't care. Do you all see how that works? Okay, so we're doing reals. Are we going to dot or are we going to shade? All right, what am I going to shade? 
circle zero. I'm going to dot six and shade in between because X is in between those two numbers. When you have it written like this, I think it makes it easier to see which way you shade. Any other questions? None? Okay. Now looking at disjunction, they're joined by four. Possibly. Not necessarily. It means either this works or this. They both can work, but at least one of them, yeah, one of them will work. So you're going to graph them separately. You're not going to like do them together. <coughs> They're going to be on the same number line, but one graph doesn't really affect the other. So yeah, they can be going opposite directions. They can be going separate, I mean like together. They can be going the same direction. Yes, I told you this is a little bit of a long lesson. What did you say, Sean? I wouldn't be, have been able to get here without my contacts. <laughs> like, I would have had a wreck on the way here. I'm <laughs> sure of it. I already told you. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between you and Sean. I wouldn't be able to see the difference between you and Sean. I could, I could figure out which one which you are. I might get you confused for destiny though. I'm serious. It's like, I see blobs. I wonder. Hmm. All right, so now we have our two inequalities that are joined with or. So one or the other. Both of them can work, but one of them has to work for your answer. How would you solve this? Oh, we always write. Yeah, you don't have to make such a big number line. Huh? Your number line? Yeah, you need to have your number lines in your notes. I mean, you don't have to, you know, you can draw them just like on these last ones. So, on the last ones, we just had like negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, so have like from negative 2 to 3. You don't need a lot of information. You don't have to have them all the way from negative 10 to 10. So, for this first inequality, how would you simplify it? Pardon the interruption. Desma, Desmond Bethea, please report to the main office. Desmond Bethea. Do you see how that works? Okay, so what numbers are less than negative 3? Less than or equal to negative 3? Sorry. Okay, so I shade it in because it's an equal to. Y'all see how that works? Yep. Any questions here? Nope. Y'all remember doing these last year? Oh, yes. They're easy? Nope. Okay, good. Okay. Number one? Well, on the test, you do have a number line. It's not numbered. It's just a, like, yeah, a line that has, like, Numbers. No. Oh. Yeah. 
No, it at least tells you, oh, you're going to need a number line for your answer. Yeah, we had to draw an issue. I'll be all crooked. We would look all over the area. So that's why last year and this year I've had some people that were making the answer sheet. They'd be like, answer sheet, and they'd have like one, two. Hmm. I know y'all were supposed to, y'all did that last year. Like at one point, yeah. Like two at the bottom. Like we didn't think we had any brown. That would explain it. I just went on the test. It's a lot easier that way. For me, less paper. Yeah. Could y'all write on your test? Yeah. Yeah, but if, if your answer was not in the little answer column, then you'd write on that. I don't like answers. Yeah, I remember putting the right answer. I got the I've got the impression that she didn't like boys. Like, 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 she, like, she got off to this more. Like, she got off to more like, more. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, like, anything, like, she'll, she'll go on the sky. Like, she'll go to sleep her cutting Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do in the back of the class to sleep with my head on the head. Like, what's that? We thought we'd be like, breaking something. Like, oh. No, the worst thing is she got that ruler and came smacking on my desk. That scared her. Ah. Kick someone's death. Oh, no. They had their head on it, and I just went up and no, kicked it. There's, there's the 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 they jumped up. Alright. How would you simplify this inequality? <laughs> what about the second inequality? Um, okay, how would you graph this one on the left? Shape or dot? Why dot? So shade your little arrows showing that you keep going. And then what about the other one? Why not three? Yes, it is. Any questions there? Okay. So now we're looking at chords and secants. Do y'all remember what a chord is? It's where it's a line. Circle, but it's not Actually, a diameter is a chord, but it's just a line that is in the, in the circle. So whenever they intersect inside of the circle, you do the products. BD equals AC. BD is one chord, the parts of one chord, and AC are the parts of another chord. They equal each other. Does that make sense? number usually. You've been doing these with letters? They've actually, um, they've made them triangles and then you solve for the letter using similar triangles. This angle and this angle are the same. So A and B and then C and D. Is that right? Wait. Like that? Okay. 
that make sense? Oh, yeah, duh. A and D are in the... I was looking up here. Try, okay, yeah. And then when you cross multiply, you get this. I'm confused myself. But you remember doing those problems? That's what you're doing. It's just an actual... Um, I don't know if it's a theorem, but it's a property, I guess. Yeah, they're not going to give you the triangle. So what would I do for this one? Uh, 5x. 5 times x. Equals 3 times 7. So x equals 21 over 5. So once on the same line, multiplied equals the other one. That's for um, chords. We're also going to look at secants. Secants are... Chords are only inside of a circle. Secants are the whole line. Like if you took out this part here and here, those are chords. But now that they have the whole thing, they're called secants. Does that make sense? So they're related, they're just slightly different. A slight nuance. Um, I don't, I think you've had tangents. I don't know that you've had these. I don't think y'all have had these yet. So, what you're doing, the outside times the whole thing equals the outside times the whole thing. That's the formula. Exterior times the whole equals exterior times the whole. Oh, the outside number. Mm -hmm. the, whole the whole line equals the outside number times the whole line. Exterior times whole equals exterior times whole. If you want to write that instead of B plus, or B times B plus D. Right. Let's look at an example. I'll wait for y'all to draw it and then we'll go over it. These are really easy for me to forget how to do, so you have to um, practice these. If you don't, I think you'll forget how to do it on the test. That's just me. I don't know. So let's start with the top secant. What is the exterior part? Okay, what is the entire line? Okay. What is the exterior? What is the entire line? Do you see how that works? Do you have any questions so far? Okay, so we have 16 plus 4x equals 24. So what is 4x equal? Okay, and x would be... Any questions there? Okay, looking at another one. Whoa. Similar. See if you can figure it out. Similar. He still does that sometimes. No, like, no, he does stuff in his head. And I'm always, I'm like, well, yeah, this is right, but then you skip three steps and somewhere you went wrong, but I can't see where. 
Anybody know what to do on the next one? Why? Eight times eight. Exterior is eight and the line is eight. Uh huh. Y'all see how that works? So if I said whole times exterior equals whole times exterior, that works. So we would get 16 plus 4x equals 64. So 4 that's not even close to a 4. I don't know what I was writing here. Any questions there? Y'all see how those work? Okay. 